Okay, so we're going to wrap up this morning and go to lunch. And I can't think of a better way to wrap up than with Dr. Andrea Adams Miller. Talk about the woman that's everywhere at an event and you make sure you connect with her every chance you get. Hey, Andrea, are you out there? I'm here. I'm so glad to see you, Teresa. On a day like this, why shouldn't we be celebrating you, me, and all the women in the world, huh? <laughs> you are amazing. I see you, again, I've met so many amazing people through Secret Knock, and I see you running around, usually in red, you're in red today, usually in Always. red, running around with your camera, and you're getting <laughs> all the best shots in the world. What got you started as the Red Carpet Connection? Where did well, that come the from? <laughs> The red carpet connection, actually, my friends named me that. So uh, I have, I own multiple businesses and I owned an intimacy and relationship business, which I still own and do it just word of mouth. Um, I had an international radio show for years and uh, I started doing all this amazing publicity and people found out they're like, wait, you were on 2020, you were on CNN, like, you know, all these amazing people, you connect with them all. You're the red carpet connection. And I'm like, okay. And they said, I want to hire you to help me with publicity and connecting with others. And I'm like, okay. And so the next thing we know, the business is born. <laughs> wow. So what, for the people out there that maybe have heard the word publicist, they've heard the words, you know, public relations, they've heard PR, all of that. What does being a publicist actually mean? What do you do? Well, I'm not a traditional publicist uh, by any means. I go above and beyond and do things that other people just don't do. Uh, really what it's become is a conglomerate of knowing a lot of people around the world. I truly care about people and who they are and where their heart and soul and mission is. And so by focusing on that, I'm able to in this Rolodex in my head and think, oh, Teresa should be connected to that person. And that person should be connected to that person. And I mean, should in a, in a loving way, like that would be a great opportunity for both of them to excel their business, their personal life, whatever it is that they want to achieve their nonprofit. And so by doing that, I, I'm, I'm a person who's a go getter. So if you want something done, I'm going to get on the phone and I'm going to call and I'm going to make things happen. Uh, Teresa, I'm literally called from all over the world. When people don't know what else to do, they call me. So, uh, for example, I had a gentleman who is creating a new way of living on the ocean. And he called me and said, I met you three years ago. And I knew if anybody could help make this come true, it would be you. And wow. we only had spoken briefly. And he just said, you just stuck out in my mind as I need to find her. And uh, uh, in the past, I had someone call me because they had a, a Spanish soccer player who had uh, reached his age limit. And I know nothing about soccer, by the way. And yet they called me and said, can you help us get a team to even interview him? So I started calling soccer teams all over the world and see if I could get him an interview, you know, just because that was his dream to at least have a shot. So it's situations like that, that people call me because I'm, I'm willing to make those calls. I'm willing to reach out. There you go. <laughs> How important is it to be connected, to get connected? People have great business ideas. They have great businesses. But other than their friends, family, and their Facebook followers, they don't reach out to anyone. How important is it to reach out, open your mouth, get connected? <laughs> uh, very important. So uh, over the last year, I started calling people on their birthdays, and they are literally shocked because when I ask them for their birthday, that's always kind of weird to begin with, because who asks you what your birthday is on your first meeting? We talked about that, Teresa. And, yes, we did. Um, <laughs> and security can be uh, awkward for people as well. And uh, but I actually call them. And it's so funny. The other day, I called somebody and he was like, oh my gosh, you actually called me. And I'm like, yeah. And then in between that, I just randomly call people. I'll go through my phone and be like, hmm, I haven't talked to Teresa lately. And call her and call you and see what you're doing. What are you up to? How can I help serve you in your world? And by doing that, you know, people feel honored and loved because I'm not calling them to sell anything. I'm just calling to take, to love on them. <laughs> That's amazing. 
So what's next for you? What's coming up next? I know you got 15 things going on, but what's the next two things that are coming <laughs> always, up? Always, always. Well, I'm ready to do a launch um, through uh, the red carpet connection and through the crypto cons uh cryptocurrency that I'm attached to. So we're going to be mm -hmm. showing people how they can live a red carpet connection, how they can be living red, how they can be connected, how they can be more. So B is B-E-E. -E. Um, and it's all about um, showing them a different membership and a different way of life so that they are connected to other people. Because it's not about net networking is important, but it's deeper than that. Yeah, I can know about what you do in a profession. But when I really care who you are, when you really care who other people are, they really care about you. And you can make things happen bigger than you ever anticipated. For someone out there, maybe there's a young lady or, or, you know, someone that's my age, you know, that's looking for a second career. And they say, I love talking to people. I love connecting. I love knowing, you know, little things about them so I can say happy anniversary, happy birthday and remember them. But they don't know how to get started. What would you tell them? How do they get started in their community being a connector? Well, part of being a connector, too, is you have to think about how to monetize it as well, because I spend mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of dollars going to events and meeting people. And in the past, I would just connect them and hope that it would come around and expect that karma will someday come around for me. And then I realized, yes, yeah, sometimes it does. And sometimes people forget mm -hmm. that you connected them. And then you remind them, hey, that million dollar deal you did. And they're like, oh, thanks. Here's some coffee. <laughs> you know, and I realized... <laughs> That wasn't monetizing. So I realized that I need to be clear when I meet people that that's what it is. That's what we're doing. That's how we show up in the world as we give them that opportunity to connect and that um, we do like an affiliate plan together. What do they do? What do they have? And how can it be so that they can make money? We can make money. And so that people are living that life of connection, but being able to connect to each other in a really valuable way that is more than money because your relationship capital is more than money. Yeah. What does International Women's Day mean to you? Well, it was interesting. I grew up as a kid and in my later years, I was doing a living history presentations uh, for women all the way around the world who um, wanted to uh, be able to showcase who they were. So I would go into schools in the month of March and act out these women in history, Judith Resnick and um, other, you know, women of, of, of distinction, Eleanor Roosevelt, and pretend to be them. And I realized that these women had not always been seen and Beatrix Potter so like she published this article all about fungi and mushrooms but all of her articles and information all of her articles and information was not uh, being carried out she had to publish through her uncle because nobody would see her work and what she did mm -hmm. and so I want I want all of us to be able to be seen and heard men and women alike we all deserve to be seen and heard mm-hmm that's amazing. You know, I want to thank you. I know you have an extremely busy schedule and to take out the time to come and hang out with me on International Women's Day. That is awesome. You are amazing. Well, thank you. And I encourage people to connect with me. Come to www.theredcarpetconnection.com and I'll show you what I'm up to with this new membership using NFTs, teaching people about cryptocurrency and connection and how we can all be responsible for ourselves to be more than what we are now and really live our worlds and rock it. <laughs> well, I thank you so much for hanging out. You know, we're going to take a quick break, actually. I believe we just wrapped up the morning session. So we're about to take a lunch break for everybody out there that's watching. You guys, this screen, stream is going to close and a new one will open up at one o'clock. We only been through half, half <laughs> of the women we're talking to today, including Dr. Andrea. Dr. Andrea, you are the best. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you. Keep smiling. <laughs> All righty.